hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well so this video is also quite requested by a lot of you so last year i did a video was it last year i think two years ago or three years ago oh wow wow it's been a oh, wow i did a video some time ago on this same channel i was talking about the things you should pack to school and the things you shouldn't pack to school now the dynamics have changed we are in a different era now because of you know the obvious covid yeah so it's essential for you to come to school with some important items you cannot go without these items now as part of your academic you know essentials so i'm back again in 2022 to tell you the things the most important things that i think you should pack to school this year if you're interested in a video like this please give this a thumbs up um subscribe if you have not subscribed and share this video to as many people as possible who you know would benefit so much from this video now let's get into the video now there are several key categories of items to take with you to the university i'm reading from my phone because i've jotted all my points here on my phone so the first thing is the important document your electricals, your kitchen utensils, your bedroom items, your bathroom products, clothing, stationery, and of course, miscellaneous. So let's get into the very first one, which is the most important document to carry with you as a fresher or even as a continuing student this year. Because I know if you're a continuing student and you're applying for your residential halls, you would need some documents with you and if you're a fresher also coming into the university of ghana for the very first time of course you will need to carry with you some very important documents so the very first one i would say your university admission acceptance letter i can't stress this enough if you're a first timer or a fresher coming to the university of ghana or going to any university at all in ghana carry with you or do not forget to print out your university admission acceptance letter okay because when you're going to apply for your residential halls, you'll be required to prove that indeed you have gotten admission into this university. Um, largely because at that time, you may not have your student identification card to prove that indeed you are a student. So the only option you have now is your student admission acceptance letter. So carry it with you anywhere you go on campus as a fresher. After printing out your student admission letter, carry with you your passport photos because then when you're going to your department to register for your courses manually they may ask you for your passport photos when you're going to your house to register they may ask you for your passport photos as well so this goes two ways either you're a fresher or you're a continuing student your passport pictures will be required at every stage of the registration process so, so carry with you as many as you can you know you can have about six or eight passport photos with you so that as and when it is required of you to give them one you just take it out from your purse and give it out to them and you'll be so stress-free trust me i've been there before i know exactly what i'm talking about another thing to also carry with you as part of the most important document is your proof of payment of school fees so if you have paid your school fees show a proof don't throw the receipts away do not throw the receipts away Payment of school fees receipts carried with you. Payment of residential, you know, hall receipts. Carry it with you wherever you go. Do not throw it away. Okay? Thank you. So now that we are done with important documents to carry with you as a fresher or as a continuing student, now let's get into the electricals to bring with you as a fresher or as a continuing student here at the University of Ghana or whatever university you might be going to right now. In 2022 is so so important I'm particular about the gadget because now times have changed and now more than ever we live in a technological world so you and i would have to have some technologies or some electricals with you now that you're coming to the university for the first time or as you continue your journey yes so with the electricals let's look at mobile phone i film on my mobile phone sometimes i read my articles and journals on my mobile phone when i don't have my laptops with me so it's very important that as a student coming to the university of ghana for the first time you have for yourself a smartphone i'm not talking about yam get yourself a smartphone it's not too expensive these days so please get yourself a smartphone as a student of the university of ghana mind you this is the nation's premier university of course you may want to be seen around 
carrying a smartphone i'm not telling you to go get this iphone 12 iphone 13 no you know cut your coats according to your size get yourself a laptop and a laptop case and of course your charger and if possible get an extra battery it will save you a lot if you're a master student or a phd student you may just want to get yourself a very small or cute printer and an ink on the side because there's a lot you're going to be printing out most of the time so if you can get a printer and an ink or your cartridge just close by anyways there are a lot of printing presses on campus so if you don't mind also you can have your coins with you anytime you want to print something you can just walk out to those shops and print um, your document but if I were you, a master's or a PhD student to be precise, I would get myself a printer and some cartridges on the side yeah, to ease me of the stress and all the other wahalas that comes with working from one printing press to the other. You get what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you can also get yourself USB card and Ethernet cable. Yeah, I know um, at the University of Ghana, there's Wi-Fi everywhere, you know, but there are some places that you may want to have, you know, some really really fast internet and there are some places that they have the internet so you may have to have your internet cable to easily connect from your pc to your laptop and all of that good stuff so if i were you i'll get myself some internet cable to ease me of the stress of getting to connect to the wi-fi when it is messing up you know what i'm saying there will be no harm in having an internet cable in your laptop bag wherever you go also don't forget to have an extension board so so important because you get to some places and there's just one um, socket there someone is already using it but your laptop is very low and you need to charge it and if you have an extension board at that time you will save you and that person and you'll be so comfortable to sit and read and enjoy so get yourself an extension cord it's very important yes <laughs> the last thing under electronics i would want to talk about is your headphones so yes, some of you go to libraries and when you're just tired of learning, you may want to just listen to a song on YouTube or just play with your phone on WhatsApp and all of that good stuff. Sometimes you might be in the library and you might be disturbed by the students because you want to have fun. But if you have your headphone or your earpiece on, you'll be so good to go. So I would advise that you come with a headphone or earpiece to save yourself and other students of the noise and the stress you know what i'm saying so there are a few things i've mentioned extension board getting your laptop your laptop cover your charger and of course some batteries for the laptop because trust me you'll be using your laptop a lot now that studies have also transitioned in a way to online yeah so laptop is very very important in this day and age so get one for yourself before you come to the university of ghana it's so important i cannot stress the importance of having a laptop a good standing laptop with you so in terms of the kitchen checklist let's talk about one or two items that i think you can bring with you as a student some of these things i did not really capture in my last video regarding the things to pack to school so now let's get into it you might be in a shared room or in a shared kitchen but regardless try to have your own bowl a plate a mug a glass a sharp knife scissors bottle openers ladder spatula a small frying pan saucepan with lid a measuring jar can opener a peeler very important for students peeler ah if you want to peel off your onions or your carrots so easily you can just get a peeler and washing liquid soap washing sponge a small dustbin tissue papers and i think you should be good to go once you have all these items with you as part of your kitchen checklist you should be sorted out in your kitchen in my last video i spoke about the most essential items to bring like the refrigerator like the rice cooker the blender no television here and the most important thing to have in your kitchen as a student is a microwave trust me after all the lectures in the day you might want to come back home eat your food eat and have some rest so blender is so important but microwave is one of the most important items to have in your kitchen as a student so don't forget that okay so in terms of bedroom items to pack i would advise that as a freshman coming to the university of ghana you may want to pack 
your bed sheets, duvet, your pillowcases. Okay, these are some three essential items to pack with you to the university this year laundry baskets, a wall clock, a very cute one, not something so huge. Now, on to the bathroom checklist. So, you can have bath towel, hand towel, toothbrush, toothpaste, hand soap, shampoo, shower gel, flip flops, toilet rolls, hairbrush, or comb if you're a lady or even a gentleman. You may want to brush your hair after you know having uh, some good baths yeah so it's important to come with your head brush or your comb for my ladies you may want to come with some hair straighteners hair dryer and you know some makeup and some makeup removers you know get as many as you you can you know yeah <laughs> because you'll be having fun too you know you'll be having a lot of fun here at the investor of ghana trust me i said all the academic work you can have some really good fun so come with your makeup and your makeup remover to help you out you know what i'm saying and of course your first aid kit it shouldn't be anything serious you can have your paracetamol your scissors and some few other items in them it shouldn't be too crazy okay <laughs> i know you may have clothes already but as a student if you need a wardrobe refresh some of these items i'm going to mention to you will be of a great help to you so listen and listen carefully and do not pack all your items here to campus now the first thing i would say is a very nice t-shirt not one not two but get a couple of them at least five you know really nice t-shirt to help you out with lectures and your movement on campus you know from day to day get you some shirts t-shirts normal shirts get you some really decent tops not the one showing cleavage and all of that get you some very decent dresses for church for outing and for lectures and some skirts you can also get yourself some sweaters just for when the weather is not too friendly <laughs> get you some really good pair of jeans they will save you a lot here on campus trust me students wear jeans and t-shirts a lot here at the university of ghana so get you some really nice pair of jeans yeah get you some underwear and some pjs you need some pajamas trust me <laughs> you need some socks and some trainers or sneakers get you some trainers because i know you will love to exercise and to walk a lot sometimes you may not get a shuttle and you may have to walk to your lecture house so if you have some sneakers with you you will go so fast <laughs> get you your wristwatch your handbag and your swimming kits and you're so good to go so these are some of the items i think you should have with you in your wardrobe as a freshman here at the university of ghana i hope these videos are really helping you out let me know in the comments section below. now moving on to stationery to carry with you to the university of ghana in 2022 i have pens and pencils i have a ruler pencil case very very important i have scissors stapler and staples mm so important guys do not forget to bring with you a stapler and some staples bring with you some highlighters you will need it when you're reading trust me um for those of you coming with your printer and your toners you would also need some a4 sheets or a5 you know printing pads or something like that to help you you know print smoothly and easily you need some calculator for mostly for undergrad students you need some calculators yes and of course some test books so yeah these are some of the items i think you should carry with you as part of your stationery to the university of ghana in 2022 so finally let's move on to the miscellaneous items you can also carry with you to the university of ghana this year first on my list face mask very important and of course your sanitizer I can't stress this enough face mask and your sanitizer don't forget that you also need some umbrella and some padlock just in case you need to lock a thing or two so please don't forget your face mask your hand sanitizer your umbrella and some lock umbrella or raincoat either of them is fine here at the University of Ghana we are set anything mind you I'm not speaking from any place of authority I'm just a student like yourself <laughs> and guys so this is where we end today's video i hope you have learned a thing or two do not forget any of these items i have listed for you today they are not compulsory items to bring with you to the university of ghana but trust me if you have them with you as a student or as a freshman it will make your stay here very easy for you 
if there's anything i left out please do not forget to comment it in the comment section below for me and if there's anything at all you want me to talk about also please do where to comment it down in the comment section if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe with me same time it's bye bye